Hello, dragons! And we're back with another Project Zomboid Mod Showcase. It's been a while since we had a military vehicle, so I figured we should check out one that I missed. And that is the Oshkosh 86 P19A by KI5. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And moving on to the side of the vehicle, there's no trunk on the back of this vehicle. However, there is a side compartment on each side of this vehicle with a top compartment of 100 maximum capacity with additional compartments of 30. Now there's two on this side and then there's three on the other side. It's freaking sweet, dude. And under the hood, it is on the rear right of this vehicle. You can go ahead and pause your screen and look at this stuff. There's plenty to look at in here. And moving inside of the vehicle, here are the options here for you. And nice little animation on the door as well as the hood. And we're going to go ahead and start with the horn. Pretty much standard horn. We're going to move on to the headlights. Here we go, boys. Ready, set, go. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I love this thing, dude. There is a light bar on this thing. I did check it. There is no lights on this thing whatsoever. So I don't know why there's a light bar, but there is a light bar. Just kind of ignore it because it doesn't do anything. And one additional feature to this vehicle of the USMC, there is a fourth seat that you can actually jump into. And then if you want to escape the seat, you just hit the E key and then you're all the way in the back of the vehicle. It's freaking sweet. There's a hatch that you climb out of. Um, you just don't see that, but it's there. And that there is the fortress model of the USMC. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And here we are with the standard USMC. Starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And under the hood, everything else is pretty much the same as the last vehicle. However, you wish to pause your screen and take a look at the details inside of this thing, go ahead and do so. One big difference with this vehicle, I noticed the light bar actually works on this one, so we're going to go ahead and start with the Yelp, the whale, the alarm, all pretty much standard. We're going to move on to the lights. Here we go, boys. Stage one, stage two, and stage three. It's freaking sweet, dude. And that there is a standard version of the USMC. We got one more to check out. Let's do it, boys. And here is the fire version of the USMC, starting with the front view, back view, and side view for you guys. And under the hood, here's all the details inside of this machine. If you wish to go ahead and pause your screen and take a look at this stuff, go ahead and do so. And again, everything else is pretty much the same. However, the light bar is even more in depth on this one. So we're gonna go ahead and start with the Yelp, the whale, the alarm, and then we're going to go on to standby and hit the stage one. And stage two. And then stage three. Oh, I freaking love it, dude. And that there is the fire version of the USMC. Well, if you thought we just got vehicles in this mod, you're wrong. Because we got trailers too, boys. Check them out. I'm going to do some maximum capacities on these boys too. Starting with this one here, there is a max capacity of 250. Onto this boy here, he's 500 maximum capacity. Over here, we have a 350 capacity. And last but not least, we got a 700 maximum capacity on this bad boy. Freaking sweet, dude. All right, boys, you know what comes next. We're going to hop into this beast. I already got the lights blaring. We're going to start this baby up. Oh, yeah, let's go. Here we go, boys. Now to cover some extra details on this mod. There are extra parts for these vehicles. You can find them in the world. The USMC standard version and the Fortress version have the third and fourth seat. The fourth seat gets you to the hatch, the third and the fourth seat are protected by zombies, they can't reach them, so it's a perfect spot to take a nap. And if you don't have the armor yet, it's a perfect spot to hide. These vehicles also include the run flat tires as well as the trailer, so that's a bonus. What the run flat tires do is they protect from going completely flat, so basically there will be less friction, so you can expect some extra slide, but no flat. And as far as driving on this vehicle, I do suggest you to use the regular brakes, not so much the handbrake. There is no slide whatsoever, so don't expect that to happen when you're going fast. However, this vehicle does not go fast, which is also a good thing because I'm terrible at driving. So it makes a good round vehicle for making a nice smooth travel. However, there is some extra spare tires. So you do get spare tires on these. There are two tires, so Jesus, dude. You get a flat, you got, you're pretty much covered. And I did do the crash test on this vehicle. I did not have one issue with crashing this vehicle and slaughtering zombies. So yeah, great test on that. No issues there. Expect a beautiful car after you smash everything. Frickin' sweet. If you're also feeling extra creative, you can also create a mod showcase of your very own custom made on emberdg.com as well as a guide if you want to do that instead. Pretty freaking sweet, dude. And that's going to be it for this video. If you like this video, go and dragon smash that like button and subscribe. Become one with us, dragons. And I hope to catch you in the next freaking video. Goodbye for now.